Yo guys, hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at some key feature updates to two of our plugins, Divi Machine and Body Commerce. Now, these are in response to some massive requests that we've received for two awesome features that are going to change the way that you use Divi and our two plugins, Body Commerce and Divi Machine. Now, what are these crazy updates that I'm talking about? Well, let's start with infinite scrolling. Yeah, you heard it, infinite scrolling where you can just scroll down the page and other post types on your archive pages, let's say them be products or within Divi Machine, they could be custom post types, keep loading as you scroll down the page. And this comes with a ton of customization features for you to use on any body commerce or Divi Machine site. Now, the second feature that we added is just for body commerce, maybe on your product pages. And this is gonna enable you to change those text attributes to actual images. So if you've got colors, you can make it say red, or you can have it be a red swatch on the page, which is gonna look awesome. Another key feature of this is that you can do this with images too. So think about branding and actually adding and displaying the brand on your product pages. It's all cool stuff. And let's get into showing you exactly how you're gonna be adding these features or enabling them on your Divi sites. All right, so over here, I've got a page that I've already built in Body Commerce. And you'll see that I've made some product swatches in a custom loop that I created for my different products in my WooCommerce database. You'll notice that we've got the attributes right here, red, red, and then you'll see some more colors here with some of the other items. And then also the pagination that we're using, which is just regular pagination. We can click the different links and I'll load the next products. Now, the first thing we're gonna do and look at is gonna be adding the infinite scrolling pagination. So let's go to this layout that I created. And this is just my store layout where I used the product loop archive pages module. We're gonna open that up and now we're gonna scroll down. And here you see the loop that I created and we'll go down to pagination. We're gonna select infinite scroll here and then we can scroll down. And now you've got some really cool options here as far as the different type of animations that you can select here. We're gonna keep it with the ripple because I think that works pretty good. And you can also select the color that you want the icon to be, as well as the background color while the Ajax is loading. And this is something that I haven't told you yet. This is all done with Ajax. So there's no page reloads. It enables your visitors to just kind of chill on the page, scroll through, and you know how we go through on our phones. We swipe, 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 and it keeps them on the page and it keeps them engaged. So this, this would be the background color. Now, if I go ahead and say checkbox here, and I update that, and you see how easy this is. Give that a moment to go, and then we'll hop back to the page on the front end. Okay, that's saved. And now let's go ahead and reload this page. Okay, we've got our page reloaded. Nothing seems to be different yet, but let's scroll down. And here you see the icon pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. And with the magic of Ajax, here come the rest of the products. And we barely did anything. We just flipped a few switches under the hood and we're good to go. It looks awesome, it works great, and your customers and your visitors are gonna love it. Okay, so this pagination with the infinite scroll is available in both body commerce and within Divi Machine. All you need to do is update to the latest version and go ahead and follow the steps I did right here to go ahead and start utilizing it. All right, so let's look at the other feature. We're gonna talk about the attribute previews. Now, the way that we're gonna employ this is we're gonna change this text that says blue, green, red to be actual swatches on the product card here so that we can view them visually. We're visual people. We like to see things, we want as much information as we can quickly. Text sometimes get a little bit lost there. So let's hop over to this loop that I created. And I just go over here within my Divi library. Here's the loop that I created. We've got the image, the title here. And here we have the attributes model for the product page or the loop layout. Let me open that up. And all we need to do here, we're already telling it, we're showing it the product color. And now we're gonna say, we wanna show image or a color swatch. Now remember I said you can use images for this as well. So we're gonna go ahead and enable that. And you're gonna go ahead and make sure this says color. Now you can change the size of this. Let's just keep it as is right now. 
save the page and see what happens. Okay, so hopping back over to the front end of the site, let's see what that looks like when we refresh the page. And there you go, guys. We've got the colors now displaying gorgeously right on the page with the attribute preview setting within the attribute module. Now, another thing that you might want to look at here is maybe these are a little bit large for your pleasing. Um, you can just go right back here to the actual loop layout that we created, open that attributes module, scroll down a bit, and here we've got the swatch height and width, and you can go ahead and maybe 25 is a better size. Let's check that out, save, and wait for that to go, and we will hop back onto the front end of the site, of the site refresh the page, and boom, now we've got these smaller little preview swatches for the colors that you find within the variations of the product. We think this is an awesome feature. Again, it's communicating to your visitors visually in a way that they can quickly see what options are available before they need to start clicking around the page. And as mentioned, another great way to utilize this is maybe on the product page. Let's click into this. You might wanna add another attribute module you know, on the custom product page that you might create with the brand of the hoodie in this example, maybe that you have on the site. So definitely another use for it. There's not a lot of other things that you can do with it. We're gonna go ahead and do some more tutorials on this type of stuff in the future. So keep an eye out for that. Definitely read the article online where we cover some of the features as well at DiviEngine.com on the blog page to see more information. Also right now it's July, 2021. We've got a summer sale going on. So definitely go check that out. You can save up to 25% off of any of our products. And there's a raffle where you can potentially win a lifetime membership, which is good stuff all around. Well, guys, that's it from me. I hope you guys found this useful. Definitely like, subscribe, and check out the rest of our content. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys next time.